getting in some other breaking developments also now coming in this is a tweet that has just come in from the prime minister as far as his visit to jakarta for the asean summit is concerned he in fact has gone on to say that had a very short but fruitful visit to indonesia where i met asean and other leaders he's thanking the president of indonesia as well the indonesian government and people for their warm welcome remember just a short while ago we'd got new visuals of the prime minister wrapping up his visit in jakarta and then making his way back to india because remember the next few days are going to be very very crucial or what happens here in the national capital come tomorrow there will be three crucial bilaterals and one of them will be with the president of the united states joe biden so the prime minister they're tweeting after his visit to jakarta indonesia on the asean summit as i pointed out it was a relatively short visit but he said that it was short but fruitful he thanked the president of indonesia he thanked the people of indonesia the indonesian government for their warm welcome to the prime minister let's also now bring in our colleague pallavi ghosh who's joining us on the broadcast pallavi a short visit this is something what even the prime minister has acknowledged but he's called it a fruitful one as well just talk to us about the big takeaways of his visit to jakarta so this is a very very short visit as we are pointing out because the prime minister is now on his way back here and he's got a very hectic schedule also president biden of course being here bilateral talks to take place but the asean summit is yet another platform i would say one of course to showcase india's might but on the other hand a coming together of the uh, southeast asian country and over there too when the prime minister spoke he gave a strong pitch for this entire concept of vasudev kutumbakam that is the entire world now has to work in an interactive manner when you whenever you come out with trade and economic ties and those policies you have to keep in mind that no country can now think and work in isolation we all need to work together and that was a stress he gave that this is what we need to understand especially in the post covid world interactionism every government has a right to develop its own but at the same time it cannot infringe on the rights on the other country okay palvi we'll have to leave that conversation there